After months of being stuck in a limbo of stand-downs caused by sequestration, the 391st Fighter Squadron was able to resume flying operations Wednesday morning. Following congressional action on the $1.8 billion Overseas Contingency Operations Reprogramming decision, the Air Force Council has approved $423 million to restore flying hours to affected units. So what does this mean for gunfighters? Well, there's no doubt that despite advances in things like simulators, like there's no substitute for the airplane, so it's pretty important for us to actually be in the jet. Uh, it's, you lose the skills pretty quickly, especially for, uh, for the younger guys. Uh, so I think the whole squadron is pretty excited about that opportunity, and we're all, we're all ready to go. Alongside the pilots and weapon systems operators, maintainers will also resume normal work tempos required with flying operations. Although the restoration of flying hours only paints a clear picture for fiscal year 13, gunfighters prove to be ever the optimists, focused on getting back in the air and back up to speed. From Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Jay Leegate.